Time for a new story. True story. Characters' names have been changed to protect their identity. And a foreigner named Craig from Ireland in the UK. And we have a baby buffalo being naughty, running wild, won't come in. Thai girl by the name of Nit, N I T. So Craig and Nit. Craig has been to Thailand, had been seven, eight times, every time to Pattaya, Pattaya. Craig was mid 40s, divorced. Got the bug coming to Thailand, found Patea, met lots of other foreigners, having a good time, found himself many new girlfriends, younger than himself. Asked how to describe it, it's the same old tale, it's a sweet shop. You want to try all the candies in the shop? You want to have fun, you're on holiday. Craig averaged a holiday twice a year, two weeks at a time. Used to be um, a lorry driver in Ireland. Well, still is. Reasonably good money. Being single, could have these sort of uh, exotic holidays. And this story is about him and Knit. Knit bit older than a lot of the girls working in the entertainment zone she was about 38 maybe 40 but looked younger on one of these trips uh, Craig found himself on Beach Road midway along somewhere where there's a section of open bars and he found himself sat there he could turn around on the bar stall and look at the beach watch the world go by the busy beach road great for people watching and on this one day he'd found a new bar on the front that had two or three girls inside the bar it was like a square bar with stalls all around the outside lots of the games on the bars the connect four the wooden numbers game and things and on this day he met Nit Nit spoke quite good English and started chatting to him playing the bar games with him and he found himself getting on really well with her she was very easy to talk to very easy going wasn't pushy wasn't after anything she didn't even ask for lady drinks but he bought her a drink or two and he came back the next day this was right at the beginning of a two-week holiday um, came back to the bar and she was there again not many customers and he thought and said to Nit I'd like to pay the bar fine take you out for 24 hours and let's see you know let's have a bit of company together and see what's what he did this had a good 24 hours with her really good got on really well um, and she was different like so many girls in Thailand they all have their own characteristics and they all have their own ways about them just something different you hear the saying she is the one she's different well not sure what was different about Nick could it be that she would be more attentive towards Craig than any previous girls he'd met whilst on the evening before having a shower she joined him and actually cleansed him all over and very attentive and he'd never experienced this before 
that was like a little hook and just something in his mind played mind games or whatever but it it made him think that she is different from all the other girls that he'd been with as temporary girlfriends in Thailand after just 24 hours with her he said to her um, I'll buy find you again for a day let's go do a bit of shopping and she was very happy went to the bar in the morning paid the bar about 300 baht fine and they went off um, a couple of shopping centers and he bought her a couple of bits of pieces of clothes he was after a pair of sunglasses I think for himself and she helped him choose some just really got on really comfortable he started asking Nit more personal questions about her family life and at this point Nit said that she didn't have um, mum and dad that they had passed sadly and that she didn't have any children she didn't have a village as such she where her village was she had no home there no land she was alone which is quite rare that a girl of that age has lost and no family at all so in that way she was quite different but she'd answered the questions and and said that yeah totally alone and no family this sort of made him feel a bit um, sorry for her it, it gave him this this feeling he was wanted to be a white a knight in white shining armor to um, to save her from the world that she is in and something sort of grasped him which was it's hard to say unless you're in that position he was in but the bond started to grow a little bit which was very fast you know he only known her a few days for some reason he then said it's time for him to explore Thailand a bit he'd never felt like doing it before because he's always on his own or he wasn't comfortable with anyone um, any partner to go traveling with and he asked her if if he paid the bar to take her on holiday for a week with him and maybe go south he'd heard about Krabby and the area around Krabby and really fancy going and having a look he understood that she was paid a salary from the bar maybe a small salary but that she had needs you know she she needed financial support a wage that's why she worked in the bar and he asked her about some numbers and he said that he would give her some money for the time they spend together he would buy her food buy her some presents and some clothes and look after her and Nick seemed very amicable to this the numbers they were throwing around were maybe a thousand bar a day plus the extras which she didn't seem too excited about but she sort of yeah okay he should have maybe spotted the sign that she was angling for a bit more money but he said to her look you know I'll buy your food and some clothes and we'll have a good time well a good time in his eyes is completely different to a good time in her eyes I would imagine um, over the years and she'd worked many years in the bar industry it seems is a good time going from one part of your country to another by the beach okay but walking around eating possible western food with a bit of Thai food thrown in and staying in three or four star hotels is that something that is a dream of hers what is her dream he never really asked those questions anyway they agreed 
let's let's go away for a week so on the evening of the day they went to the bar and she spoke to her the bar owner or the mama Sam whoever it was and seemed to negotiate a deal for her to go off for a week he wasn't in earshot of it but she came back and said yeah it's fine it was uh, going to be sort of 1500 baht for five days to the bar fine and he paid it happily um, she said she wanted to go back to her room to uh, get clothes for the following week which was fair enough and that she'd come back to, for him to stay at the bar she'd come back later with a bag and then go back to his hotel off she went uh, pretty normal for him except going away with a girl is not normal what was he thinking he was excited he was never been anywhere in Thailand apart from Patea it's hard to judge a lot of people including myself in the past have been in those feelings um, but I suppose exciting he was opening himself up a bit to her and to the idea of going away with a girl off Nib went back to her room came back about an hour later with a small case and it was quite a nice little case as well all packed up she came had a drink at the bar and then they went off to the hotel for another evening he hadn't booked the hotel he was in for the whole um, two weeks which was good but he had uh, had a word with them and said that he was coming back he was going away for a week and going to come back could he leave his main case with most of his stuff at the hotel and uh, they agreed and for a small charge put his big case away next morning managed to organize a, a taxi they were going to taxi up to Bangkok and fly down straight to Krabi they were going to go down so all good it all went well that's what they did jumped in the cab airport flight down Krabi 40 minutes 45 minutes he had no idea about uh, Krabi or Onang what to expect he likes staying in three four star hotels he likes swimming pools so when they got to Krabi it was down to knit to try and get a taxi driver who knew Onang and the hotels and the, the layouts um, and the driver basically took them into I don't know, a 20 minute ride down into Onang which is a beautiful resort um, and they stopped on the main road going down and there was a couple of little tour kiosks and things there that had deals for hotels and they, they found a hotel it was actually a four star and it was about 1800 baht a night and it was just round the corner at the bottom along the front um, I know Onang's not very big but yeah, it was pretty central they did uh, the booking through this little travel person who rang through to the hotel got it organized and he paid the the booking agent for four nights five days at this hotel the agent then he paid the taxi from the airport ready and they'd gone the this agent jumped in their car and took Nit and Craig round to the hotel checked them all in all was good all was paid it included breakfast the deal um and he got receipts and everything all good there he was in a new area of thailand with a lady that's special she's different speaks quite good english sounds perfect the dream We'll leave it there. I'll catch you on the next one. Is she the one? Hmm. Bye for now.